Next, we'll examine the slot feature as an LFP file by expanding the design library, right-clicking on the straight slot.sld LFP, and we find we can open that in SOLIDWORKS directly. To get a better understanding of what an LFP file contains, we can note that the top icon is not the traditional yellow part icon of SOLIDWORKS, but rather a series of library books as the icon, indicating it is an LFP file. Also, we see that the slot feature in particular has a small green L imposed on the feature icon, indicating that that is the feature that is the library feature, as opposed to the base extrude, which is simply there so that we have something to cut into. We'll also note a couple of new folders in the feature tree, references and dimensions. If we expand references, we'll see that we have a placement plane as well as two locating edges defined for this feature. The placement plane is what we're cutting into, the drag and drop face, and the locating edges are the edges that the location of the item is uh, based upon. The folder for dimensions shows us the dimensions for the part, including the width of the slot and the length of the slot. There's also a folder called locating dimensions that has two dimensions inside of that. And these would be the dimensions that locate the feature as opposed to the width and length which size the feature. A folder called internal dimensions is not being used for this LFP file. As noted earlier, we have several configurations of this model available. They all have Excel icons in front of them and a design table at the top, which indicates that we have a situation where we have an Excel spreadsheet, a design table, driving the creation and modification of our configurations. It would be very easy for us then to add new sizes to our slot simply by adding new information to our design table like we would for any other part file. So that's an examination of our straight slot LFP. Next, we will examine how we can create our own LFPs.